Now we want to work a couple of examples of constructing two, three, four trees. So in our first example, we'll use this data and we'll just take it in order. So first we would have S, then we add B to this. There's only one key and we could have at most three keys. So then we get BS, add the X, we'll put some marks here to indicate where we're at, BSX, and then we want to add E. So here's what I want. B, E, S, X. But the problem is there's four keys here. Okay, so we can't do that because we only have most four children. So instead, we're going to split based on the middle value. So we'll have S, over here we have B, which is before S, and X, which is after S, and then we'll add the E. So come to here, E is less than S, come down to here, add it to this node. So B, E, S, X. Now when you add the D, come to here, that's less than this, come down to here, it'd be B, D, E. So let me put some lines. So that's what we have so far, all right? Now what are we gonna do? I wanna add A. So I would come to here, move down to here, A would go in here, so here's what I want to have. But the problem is I have four keys, so instead, I'm gonna split on the D and the D moves up a level. So I have DS. So before D is the B. After D, but before S is the E and the X is still after S. So all I did was take something like this. Let's put over, I guess we'll put it right here. So basically BDE became D B E and then the D slid up. That's what happened, all right? So now we can add the A, so the A will be in here with B. So we're up through A. I want to add Q. Q is between D and S, so it should go with the E. A, B are both less than D, E, Q is between D and S, X is after S, all right? And we'll add K, that's also between D and S. And now we want to add M. M is between D and S. So here's what I want. And remember, when I say want, that means if I'm not paying attention to the properties. E, K, M, Q. Four keys, I can only have three keys. So really I need to split this, so instead, I'm going to take the K, move it up, so it becomes D, K, S. A, B is still less than D. E is before K. Q is after K. And X is still after S. Then, let's put it here. Arrow means come over to here. So now I'm going to add the... Uh, M that we were trying to add, right? We were trying to add this. So D, K, S, A, B. And where's M go? After K, but before S, so it's in here.
All right. So this is what we have so far. Now we add the P. So here's what I want. D, K, S, A, B, E, S, V, M, Q, P, X. But there's a problem here. And technically it's only a problem because I'm using the preemptive split version. So this is preemptive. approach okay we talked about that in the last video the problem here is that after I've done this this node now has four child nodes one two three four that in itself is fine but if I were to do this right here and then later add something to this node this would break this node so it needs to be split I propagate up to here, then this node also need to be split. Maybe I move up. So I'd prefer to minimize the things I'm fixing for each insertion. So instead, I'm going to fix this first. So we're doing P. So I'm going to take this and split. So this becomes K is in the middle. It goes to D and S. And now here's AB. Here's E. MQ, and here's the X. We haven't added the P yet. That's what we're trying to add. And now I'm going to add the P. So K, D, S, A, B, E, M, Q, P, X. Okay, and now we're going to do uh, the last value here, which is R. So here's what we want. So we would have K, D, S, A, B, E, M, P, or excuse me, M, Q, P, R, X, but this has four keys. So instead, I need to split this right here. And so I do that by taking the... Uh, Where I'm at here, MQP. We need the um, the Q to move up. So this will still be AB. This will be E. So what will happen is then the Q is up here. So this node, be right here, this node becomes Q. We have M. Or sorry, this is QS. The P and the X. And now I can add the R. Okay. And so the R is after Q but before S, so it comes into here. So I'm out of paper on here, but insert R. So the R would be here. Q. Sorry, these are out of. I had these out of order actually, so this should. That's the reason why I was confused. So this really should be M P Q. What I wanted was M P Q R. So the P is what moves up. So let me just rewrite this part here. The bottom one then becomes. So instead. We're doing this right here. K, D, S, A, B, E, C, 
So the P joined the S. So let's notice P S. So M is before P. Q is after P. But before S. And then you have X. And now we add the R. So this is P S. And so this is the final tree. And you can check that online. There's versions uh, or implementations of this tree building algorithm here. So this will be the final one. Okay. So what do we need to keep in mind as we're doing this? Anytime I'm going to have too many keys, I do a split. And because we're using the preemptive split approach, if I'm working down a tree, okay, and we get to, where was the scenario at? Like right here, here I have four. Four uh, child nodes here. That means when I want to add something to any one of these nodes, even though they can hold the extra key, I need to fix this as well. So we do that by splitting. Right. Let's do another example. We'll also be constructing a two, four, or two, three, four tree from this. So these are already in order. Let's see what that does in constructing the tree. It doesn't change the rules. So we start off with A, A, B, A, B, C. And then what do we want if we're not paying attention? So instead, Before I add the D, I split the A, B, C. So it should be A up to B, back down to C. Then I add the D. Right? Add the E. So this would be B, A, C, D, E. Right, so now I want to add the F. So here's what I would want if I'm not paying attention to the properties. Four keys, I can only have three. So instead, I need to split on the D. So D moves up to B, or the node with B. So A is still right here. The C is after uh, or after B but before D. Here's the E. So this is instead. Then we add the F. So we said F. What about G? EFG. That adds fine. So now we have the H. So here's what we want. E, F, G, H. Too many keys. So instead, I need to split on the F. So B, D, F. A is here, C is here, E is here. So this is instead. And then at the H. All right. And now we want to add I. So here's what we want. G, 
G-H-I. There's room for the I key here, but this node right here that we're passing through, whether it's a root in this case or if it's farther down the tree, it already has four child nodes. So instead of creating the scenario where I add one more key to this, which requires splitting, pushing that up, this requires this splitting, instead of creating this cascade of splits, I'm going to fix this first. So instead, split on the D. Right? And now, add the I. And we're done. That was the last value. So if I had a J, we'd be back in the same scenario. This would be already full. We need to split it up to here. And if we kept going through the letters of the alphabet in order, this right, whatever the rightmost node is, would keep getting full, so it would propagate up. Once this was already full, then that would need to propagate up. Once that was full, that would need to propagate up if there was you know, extra nodes, whatever. So that's just something you have to do. But remember, this is a particular approach. We're using the preemptive split approach where we're trying to minimize the number of splits on any particular operation. So that's what we have there.